Hello and welcome to the NetSuite Nonprofit Suite Success video series. In the next 10 minutes, we'll be taking a tour of the NetSuite Suite Success program. If you've spoken with someone at NetSuite prior to watching this video, it's likely that you're about to attend our alignment call with your account executive and members of our solutions team. In order to continue the progress that we've made to date, we'll do a quick overview of NetSuite and our nonprofit suite success program, and then jump right into a product demonstration to show off some of the value inherent in our predefined executive role dashboard metrics from the suite success program. Before we jump into our content, we're obliged by our legal team to display our forward-looking statement slide just in case there are any forward-looking statements made during this presentation. The NetSuite nonprofit team has members across the entirety of the organization, from product management to professional services, customer support, and account management. More than that, every employee is encouraged to participate in our Suite Volunteer and Suite Impact programs. Evan Goldberg, our founder and CTO, made a commitment to supporting nonprofits from the start. This commitment is part of our mission and who we are as a company. Our corporate citizenship arm leverages our nonprofits teams, products, and people to amplify the social impact of nonprofits and social enterprises around the world. Through our unique initiatives, including software donations, pro bono suite volunteer projects, and social solutions, we're supporting organizations worldwide to better achieve their missions. When you think about what makes NetSuite truly unique for nonprofits, it comes down to two key aspects. The first key is the collection of leading practices that we've built into our suite success offering. After over 750 successful nonprofit implementations, we've discovered there's a tremendous amount of commonality between those deployments. We've learned from both our customers and industry experts what it takes to run a successful nonprofit, and we've built these leading practices right into our Suite Success product offering. This ultimately gives you the opportunity to leverage all of this experience in your system implementation. The second key differentiator for nonprofits is the Suite Success implementation methodology and approach. With Suite Success, we want to change the way you view typical software implementations. As we've continued to grow our customer base, we've found that often organizations are looking to learn how they can best run their nonprofit. Now, instead of recreating the business process wheel every time, we've built leading practices into our implementation for you to leverage. The Sweet Success solution comes with over 3,000 hours of these business practices baked in. To help organizations realize the value of NetSuite, we've also created over 250 pre-built reports, dashboards, and business intelligence tools into the product, ensuring that our customers have a strong foundation for running their organization in less than 100 days. Suite Success provides these predefined roles to ensure that your people hit the ground running and that user adoption of the solution is increased. So whether you're seeking increased transparency between finance and fundraising records, looking to track and optimize the performance of your programs, or wanting to drive decision-making from financial segmentation tailored to meet your organizational structure, there's just no other system that has this functionality built natively within it. If you've met with a NetSuite account executive, you've seen the next two slides already and been introduced to these concepts used in our Suite Success program. Today, we're just focusing on the challenges and potential positive impact NetSuite can provide in the remediate stage at the base of the tree on this slide. We'll start by looking at real executive dashboard metrics and start to explain the suite success approach and how the product delivers against this leading practices approach. We'll look at these dashboard metrics and dig into how NetSuite delivers all this real-time data in order to provide real-time transparency into organization performance across all business functions, a single version of the truth with all your data residing in a single source, a self-service personalized experience with easy-to-use reporting tools that don't require programming or technical resources. Before we jump into the demonstration, it's important to establish what's at work behind the scenes that provides all this information so that you understand what you're seeing. While the NetSuite platform provides virtually unlimited segmentation, the nonprofit Suite Success team has standardized the use of eight to generate visibility, reporting, and analytics to our users. These segment attributes are linked directly at the transaction line level across the entire NetSuite ERP platform, from cash donations to vendor bills, expense reports, to pledge invoicing, each transaction will provide valuable, real-time information across these segments up to the key performance indicators that you'll use to manage your organization. Financial segmentation is just one area to cover in the leading practices during the alignment call. It's important to understand that the financial segments are the key to today's executive overview. Here's what we'll show in NetSuite to establish the use of our suite success leading practices around financial segmentation. From the CEO dashboard, we'll create a new task for the controller, and then we'll switch to the controller's point of view, show a segment example, enter a new program segment, then we'll enter a grant segment to relate that to the program, after which we'll enter a valid ex expense and revenue segment combination, or a suite key to automate transaction coding, 
enter a cash donation using that sweet key, then we'll show some reports. As you can tell by looking at this dashboard view, our nonprofit team here at Oracle NetSuite's done something very powerful with our release of Suite Success for Nonprofits. By taking advantage of the strength and flexibility of the NetSuite platform, we've created a nonprofit edition to improve both financial and operational results and reporting for a nonprofit organization like yours. Executive dashboards like these provide up to the minute financial and operational information and are operational on day one. This leading practices starting point exposes the most common portlets and yet is easily rearranged to suit your users' personal preferences. Unparalleled visibility across your entire organization is delivered right through your browser or mobile device. This often means the difference between responsible planning and a lack of stewardship over the nonprofit revenue spend. With Sweet Success, nonprofits that desire to increase program efficiency and fundraising visibility can move to NetSuite and leverage our leading practices implementation services and get live on NetSuite in 100 days. Our executive director wants to meet with the controller about the program they've discussed. The executives want to assure proper revenue and expense codes are set up in advance, along with assurances that the appropriate accounting controls are in place to get work started ASAP. The executive director logs into his dashboard and selects new task assignment from his shortcuts portlet, sets up a meeting for next Friday, and assigns the task to the controller to be sure the deadline's met. NetSuite makes it easy to collaborate with your team right within your browser or mobile device. Our clients alert and track to-do list items and reminders like this for approvals and other workflows throughout the entire solution. This task will automatically alert the controller when it's completed. Common dashboard elements like these, shortcuts and reminders, make collaboration and task assignment easy, and stop things from falling through the cracks during your busy days. Notice that while the dashboard elements appear to be the same as the CEO's, the controller's dashboard is much more interested in data regarding cash flow and bank balances, etc. Right in the middle of his dashboard, we see a bunch of financial key performance indicators. Note that when we hover over these numbers, the formulas and amounts are displayed, and if you want to see what makes up the fundraising expenses, this period, just click on it. Next, the details that tie back to the summary figure are displayed, and you can drill down into each transaction like the one on January 3rd. Here we see the actual vendor bill from Arrow Advertising. Note that this vendor bill was tagged with five attributes, or segments. It's the functional expense segment that included this transaction in your fundraising efficiency key performance indicator. Remember that the formula was fundraising expenses divided by total contributions. Add more fundraising expenses in the period, and your ratio goes up. It's that simple. Manage your transactions, and the high-level metrics will update automat automatically. But how do we help you manage that vendor bill to be sure it's coded properly? This is the sweet key field. When the user entered the vendor bill and added the advertising expense account, the sweet key code was all that was needed to be entered at the line level, one field to code the entire segment value combinations. We'll look at this again in every role since both the revenue and expense transactions are made dramatically simpler using this feature. You say your coding examples are different? That's not a problem. The sweet key concept can easily adapt to your current coding scheme, saving training time during implementation. If you need to have manual control, also not a problem. The editing is driven by, by permissions built into the system roles and can easily be adjusted for your organization's processes and rules. You can overwrite any segment manually and default segments are, are put in based on your requirements. In response to the newly assigned task from the CEO, Elizabeth can enter the new program in which the organization intends to provide services during 2017. This is the first value of a new segment for reporting, like we saw in the functional expenses example. This will use our standard program segment. Because this is something Elizabeth commonly does to start a new program, she's got a shortcut that links her to the proper form on the right job on the dashboard. It's easy to enter a new program. Here we have a simple form that only requires name, start, and end dates, and the assignment of a program director. If you need to enter other program data or build in approvals when entering a new program, the NetSuite platform can easily accommodate those requirements. Since the executive director mentioned that we can expect some grant money from the city of Danville and a related foundation, our controller wants to set up those to start as well. We simply click on our shortcut and enter just the relevant grant segment information to get this related process started. Another simple form to set up our grants for tracking. For most, tracking grants requires additional information like you see here. NetSuite can track multiple grants to one program or a single grant that funds multiple programs. We classify this grant as City Use and Multi-Year, or CIUTMY 
to stay consistent in our naming convention. Elizabeth will want to track multi-year grant schedules and other related terms and conditions, but this is enough data entry for now to get us working on them. A grant opportunity record will be created by the grant administrator later to track the specific details prior to receiving the award. The next task might be performed by the controller. Our controller has her task set up for the new program and the expected grant. Now we want to build out the rest of the segment codes needed to provide complete reporting. Setting up the valid segment codes for accounting and dimensional reporting for your new program and or grant within NetSuite is also as simple as can be. The user can either manually enter new or copy existing codes in NetSuite and insert the new program value in the proper field or quickly import a pre-built list of new codes from a worksheet. Our controller likes to keep a link to a standard program revenue and expense codes import template in shortcuts. His worksheet includes standard codes that he reuses for new programs to make it easy when there are long lists of values to enter. Today, let's just build one from scratch and use it as our example to show how the product works. Imagine being able to create an easy to use shortcut to code any transaction or relationship in your ERP to a program, grant, region, restriction, or project combination. It's easy for your users to set an entire series of dimensions from your segmentation values at the line item level in NetSuite with one key value to enter all that data. Shortcuts and wildcards are built into NetSuite. Grant, program, project, restriction, region, revenue type, department. You define the segments you need to populate or create new ones as needed. You define the naming convention and can even use freeform descriptions, whatever works for your team. This simple, useful feature will save a great amount of time and effort and dramatically improve data entry and validation for your accounting and operational team members. By automating and linking these codes to transactions within NetSuite, your ability to share reporting at a detailed level increases greatly with donors or program sponsors. While the program is being managed, operational and financial visibility will be displayed immediately in your NetSuite browser or mobile device. All of this positions your organization as an open, efficient, and accountable steward of the financial resources entrusted to you and your team. Now that Elizabeth has entered and confirmed the valid segment combinations for the new program, she alerts the executive director that work can begin. Let's close the task to alert our executive. Before we stop, let's enter a transaction as the program director to see how the suite key works. Assuming the program continues as normal, we'd anticipate taking some cash donations for our program. Let's navigate to our form and enter one. Let's say Mr. Hart donated $150 for our Danville Abandoned Pets program. We enter the constituent name and individual contribution for $150 and then tab to the Sweet Key field. As we start typing Danville, the Sweet Key fills in the remaining segment values and now our reports can be filtered and sorted by each of these values. Alerts could be triggered, workflow can be engaged for approvals, and your program is off and running. Let's step back now and navigate straight to a report to show the transactions related to this program that have been entered already. Sweet Success has developed a program dashboard designed to give us just the information we need on the new program. Select it from the drop-down list and press the Submit button. Instantly you can see the top contributors, yearly revenue and expense both at a summary level and in each tab the detailed transaction records behind the summary numbers. Before we wrap up, let's take a quick look at a few reports that include the transactions you just saw. Here's the Giving Statistics by Program Results report with our donation included for the City of Danville. Out of the box, we can also see the same report by constituent with one click. From the NFP Solutions Center menu, your people can access the role-specific features and reports that are key to the process areas, like revenue reporting, for example. Notice that in this view, the unrestricted donations from Mr. Hart are grouped by the Danville program. Our last report, Net Assets by Program, allows you to break out the parent-child relationships that we set up with the City of Danville. And when we drill in, we see the GL account with all the segmentation for sorting and filtering. We just saw the financial segmentation delivered in NetSuite Nonprofit's Suite Success. Our CEO collaborated with the controller, who quickly entered a program and grant segment for demonstration purposes in order to code the cash donations so that we could report on the financial segmentation and hopefully give you some insight into this powerful solution. Your next steps will be go to go through the leading practice areas important to your organization in detail with our Suite Success team. 
In that alignment call, we'll determine how to best to leverage the leading practices approach for your organization's people and process areas. We look forward to getting together with the stakeholders in each of these areas and learning more about the unique challenges within your organization. Thanks for taking this brief overview of NetSuite Suite Success, and thanks again for your time.